got the right to some sunshine, everybody. Not the sun, but maybe one of his bees, one of his bees. Hi, Kate. This video comes to you from my sister's bedroom in Virginia, so I take no responsibility for anything you may see in the background. Uh, I assume when you apologize for late videos, you are not apologizing to me because, well, anyway, this is my video on guilty pleasures that aren't guilty pleasures because we're not using that term anymore. My thing that I really, really enjoy uh, that some people might say I should feel guilty about but I don't is musical theater, musicals, show tunes. I love it. Uh, I think it's fantastic. It really upsets me when Simon Cowell uses it was like a musical or you could be on Broadway as a pejorative and a criticism on Idol because I don't think that those are bad things. And you get a lot of people just out in the world uh, saying, you know, show tunes, like it's this awful, awful thing. One thing I hear a lot, of course, I'm sure you've heard is I just don't get it when people burst into song, you know, I can't suspend my disbelief. I secretly judge those people and I think they're a little bit dead inside because why wouldn't you want a world where people burst into song and dance? I think that's pretty great. First of all, I don't think musicals deserve the criticism that they get because the people who criticize them in that way uh, I don't think have a lot of experience with the depth and breadth of what musical theater has to offer. I think musical theater has done some very important things. One of my all-time favorite musicals is Assassins by Stephen Sondheim that deals with, well, people who have or have tried to kill the president. And the amazing thing about that musical is that uh, it manages to humanize these people without condoning their actions. Uh, like, it's not okay to kill the president, and that's not the message of this musical. But what it is is sort of an analysis of the death of the American dream and what happens when that rhetoric that you can have anything and you will be great if you just work hard enough doesn't really play out. And it deals with that wonderfully. And musicals can be shallow. And I like that. I just rewatched Mamma Mia with my sister. And there's a scene where some very attractive young men climb out of the ocean and start dancing in flippers. Why shouldn't that be wonderful? Why shouldn't I like that? I think that's great. So there's that. I mean, there's, you know, there's the very deep that I don't think people always see. And then there's the silly and sparkly. And I think both of those things and everything in between are wonderful. Personally, I'm really partial to more recent musicals. I'm not a big Rodgers and Hammerstein fan. One of the things that show tunes, just as music, like if you're just singing a song from them out in the world, get criticized for is being overly dramatic, overly emotional. And I don't really see why that's a problem. I think over dramatizing and being super emotional is only a problem when it's false. Uh, big Mike, I'm talking to you. But really digging in, like someone like, say, for example, Audra McDonald can do, that's amazing. That's an ability to bring out, you know, the depth of human emotion. There's a sort of an implication in pop and mainstream music that even though you're supposed to connect emotionally to a song, that it's somehow shameful to really, really get into the emotion and really show the emotion. You're somehow supposed to connect emotionally while still staying emotionally distant. And frankly, I think that's bullshit. Um, some things that you can sing about are really, really emotional. I'm going to link to a YouTube video of Steve Balsamo doing Gethsemane from Jesus Christ Superstar. It's actually a concert performance and he literally like rips his guts out and leaves them on the stage and it's one of the most stunning things that I've ever seen. I don't think that there's shame in being emotional with your music, like truly, truly emotional. When it's fake, you can tell, but when it's real, seeing someone who's able to do that with music, I think is amazing. I think that's one way that maybe mainstream music and musical theater differ, but that's okay. And I don't mind seeing mainstream artists get emotional in that same way either. I think people miss out on a lot of what's really good in musical theater because it's deeply, deeply contextual. And some things do make it out into the world and they can work on their own as a standalone song. But that's not really the goal of musical theater. And there are a lot of wonderful, wonderful pieces that just can't be pulled out of the context of their show. So people who aren't really familiar with that miss out on it. 
Um, another thing is the singing style, which, okay, if a singing style doesn't do it for you, then it's not going to do it for you, but, you know, people get criticized for the belting and, you know, all that stuff. Um, first of all, I think it's great. Um, I love to do it, and I love to hear it. Uh, it's not something you can really just turn on as background music. You have to pay attention, and I don't think that's a bad thing to be forced to sit up and pay attention to music. Not everyone can do it. There are plenty of people who have wonderful music careers that probably deserve it. Uh, in fact, you know, people that I know of who obviously do deserve it. Maybe because they're great songwriters, maybe because they sing a different style, but they could never do with their voice what musical theater performers do. And I think it's worth noting that that is a technical skill that they have. And technical skill isn't everything, sure, I think I've just said that, but I do think it's worth pointing out that it takes a higher level of technical skill to be a musical theater performer than to sing, you know, most of pop music, which, you know, I love pop music and that's not what I'm saying, but I don't think it's fair to rag on people for singing that style of music when it's wonderful. So many things are wonderful about musical theater that I don't think a lot of people see. And that's my video. Um, I want you to make a video about something could be an album, could be a book, could be whatever, your choice. Um, something that was really, really important to you as a teenager and why, whether or not you still appreciate it now. Uh, discuss, and I will see you very soon. Bye! There's a light burning bright,